In this module, we're going to be talking about one of the base functions in Excel. Uh, we'll be using this function in later activities and exercises, so it's important that you have an understanding of how to use it. Uh, the function that we're going to be looking at is called the offset function. And the way that the offset function works is it gives you the ability to uh, reference off of a cell and either move in the X or Y location along either rows or columns from that particular cell. So for an example, uh, if we wanted to reference uh, a value that was in uh, cell B2, uh, so let's just type in here B2. If we come down to a, a lower level item and we put a equal sign and type offset, we are given uh, a few items that we have to enter as parameters to this function. The first one is which cell do we actually want to reference as our base or starting location. Uh, in this case, uh, we'll, we'll select our start, starting or reference location as B2. The next parameter that is asked for is how many rows do you want to offset from this location? So if we were to enter in zero for this uh, value or parameter, we would basically say we're going to keep on the same location. We're not going to move down any rows. The next uh, item that's asked for in this is columns. How many columns do you want to move or reference from this location? Again, if we put zero in this particular uh, column, per particular parameter, it's going to leave us in the same location. We are not going to, to uh, move off in any location. So in the very simplest form, if we put offset location B2, zero, zero, uh, we'll end up getting the same value that's actually in this cell. In this case, all we're doing is referencing what is in this particular location. Now, the power of offset comes when you're actually moving or referencing off to a different location. So, for example, if we wanted to reference uh, in this uh, sheet location B3, what we would do is in this parameter for rows, we would enter a 1 to basically offset one location. So now by using the offset, our original location was B2. We've offset by one location to, to reference B3, um, and, and that's what we're actually getting in, in this location. Likewise, if we wanted to, to reference uh, C2, what we do is say we do not want to move any on the rows. We're going to keep on the same row, row 2, and we're going to offset or move over one location in our columns. So you can see now we have the ability to, um, by, by referencing that, we're now able to, to reference C2. Combining both the movements in the row and the column, we're able to, if we enter in a one for the row and a one for the column, we're now able to reference location C3 by entering our default location of B2, uh, moving over one uh, moving down one row, which is this uh, one that we have here for our parameter on our row movement, and then moving over one column, um, which we've uh, referenced in our, uh, our value here, to move over uh, one column. So reference, uh, referencing using offset allows you to provide a, um, a core reference point, like we've done with B2, and then also by using the uh, values um, for the row and the column offset to select other values. This is an important function for us. We'll use this in some of our data visualizations um, and also as we build more complicated um, tools moving forward. But as an introductory uh, um, function, offset is one that we'll use um, throughout the course.